Hi everyone, welcome back. So today my topic for this particular video is the agent. So in this particular video, I'm going to cover the agent from the beginner point of view, like how a beginner can work on the lane chain agent. So, so in case of large language model, in generative AI, generally we use the large language model for variety of tasks. For example, for the translation, text generation, content generation, or as a chatbot for question and answering. But these language models trained on the historical data, large amount of historical data, they don't have the access to the internet resources. So agent basically provide the capability to these LLM, for example, this is our LLM, to connect with different tools. Tools, for example, the calculator. For example, we have the requirement in our project, like we need to perform some mathematical calculation. Then we can use the calculator LLM here, calculator tool basically. And if we have the some other requirement related to search from the internet, then we can use the internet search tools here. And if we have requirement to run the Python code or Java code or any other requirement, then our LLM basically use tools as per the query as for the prompt as for the requirement of our project and this capability basically agent provided to our llm it basically integrate our llm with different tools so if we talk about the agent so agent application basically the three main component one is the llm second one is the agent type and third one is the tool so let me explain with the help of this blog and I will provide this blog link in the description of the video. You can find the link of this blog in the description of the video. So agent basically uh, responsible to perform the actions in, in our lane chain applications. And if we compare agent with the chain systems, like if uh, any of you work on the lane chain and you develop the chain in lane chain, and then the chain basically responsible to perform action into the sequence those sequence is fixed in chain our sequence is fixed like first, for example if we are developing a rack system and in the rack system first we need to retrieve the context then we need to send those context to the llm so those step basically fix in chain if it will be application with the help of chains but in agent, basically, we leverage the language model and those models basically dynamically as per the requirement, as per the task in hand, select the best tool and then perform the action. And or the main difference between the agent and chain and agent basically has the three main component, as I explained earlier as well. So first one is the LLM. LLM stands for the large language model. For example, the GPT-4, GPT-3, or BERT, or LAMA, these are the language models, example. And we can use these models for a variety of tasks. For example, the translation, summarization, content writing, content generation. And second component is basically the agent type. Agent type basically, uh, like what kind of agent type we are using. For example, if we have the requirement to generate the text to, to generate the data based upon the single single input then we use the zero show agent type if we have the requirement to develop a conversational boat or conversational application then we need to use the historical information historical chat data as well so in that case we use the generate uh, conversational agent if we have the requirement uh, related to the uh, dog store then we use the dog store agent type. We have the multiple agent type. I will discuss in the later section of the video. And third important component is the tool. Tool basically uh, the component which is designed to perform the specific task. As I explained in the starting of the video, like if we have the calculation task, then when, uh, then we can use the calculator or mathematical LLM. If we have the task related to the live search, then we can use a search engine. If we have the task related to the Python code, then we can use a specific tool related to the Python code. So tool basically provide us the capability to use the expert or to use a specific tool, specific tool 
which basically design or develop for the specific task. And while developing an agent application, we need to uh, consider few of the point, important point. First one is the providing agent access to the right tool. Like we need to provide the access to our agent to right tool so that our agent can perform the action by utilizing this right tool. And we need to describing the tool effectively so that agent can use this. And further few other component uh, also required in agent, uh, like the in agent based application. One is the tool toolkit, tool basically collection of the multiple tools. And another one is the memory. So memory basically responsible to store our historical information. Suppose we are developing a conversational chatbot, then we need to store the uh, chat history or the historical conversation, then we can use the memories. And these are the main reasons why we need the memories, like the context understanding, long-term knowledge, like the historical information, personalized experience, so that we can provide the better response as per the user preferences, as per user uh, historical chat or historical data and continuity as well. So these are the main part. And implementation part, I will show you uh, the implementation in the Google Colab. But before we go to the Google Colab, I will discuss the few uh, installation step or uh, prerequisite here. So first we need to install the prerequisite like the LangChain for the framework like we are using the LinkedIn framework here, OpenAI for the LLM, Wikipedia basically for the tools. So we need to install these prerequisite. And first things we require the LLM. So we need to set up our LLM here. Basically we are using the OpenAI LLM. And then we need to load our tool. We need to load our tool. So to load our tool, we have the option in LinkedIn agent. Like we can import a, uh, from the agent you can see here lane chain dot agent we can import the load tool function and in the load tool function we can provide the list of our tools we can provide number of tools here so that our agent can use tool as per the task as per the different task our uh, agent basically use the different tools and to choose the tool we require a llm so that's why we provide the LLM also here. And after loading the tool, so you can see here, first step is we need to set up the LLM. Second step is we need to load the tool. And third step is initializing the agent. And to initialize the agent, we have the two options, agent executor, second one, initializing agent. And in this particular video, I will discuss or I will show you in the code in the initialize agent function to initialize the agent. So to initialize the agent, first we need to import this initialize agent function. You can see here, here basically we import this. And then we basically pass uh, a few values in initialize agent function. First one is the list of tools, which we defined earlier. These are the list of tools, then LLM, and then the agent type. You can see here, this is the agent type, zero short, react description this is basically the zero short uh, react means the reasoning act means action so this basically the agent type uh, this we use if we don't uh, require any historical or conversation data or historical data here here basically this agent is uh, used to generate data or to perform the action by using the single input and i will back to this type of agent First, I will discuss this implementation part in the Google Colab agent implementation. So let me show you first uh, like the how the LLM responding to one of the my questions without agent. And I basically deploy Lama 3.1 in my machine by using the Olama. And regarding the deployment of local LLM on local machine, window machine with Olama, I will create separate video. Now I I will ask a question. You can see here, I ask question, how many medals India won in Paris Olympic 2024? So this question basically related to the current event and our LLM trained on the historical data. This Lemma 3.1 is trained on the historical data. That's why you can see here the answer of the LLM. As per your question, unfortunately, I don't have the answer yet since 2000, uh, 
14 Paris Olympic has not taken place yet. You can see here. Basically, our LLM trained on the historical data. This LLM is uh, don't have access to internet. So that's why this is the response. And if I go to the Google search, let me show you. If I ask to the same question, here are the accurate information. You can see here in the Google, we have the information like where India won the six uh, medal, one silver, five bronze. So now I will explain you the lane chain agent in Google Colab. First things we need to install the lane chain. So here basically we are installing the lane chain and open AI for the LLM part, Wikipedia for the tool purpose and DuckDuckGo search for the search engine. So first I will show you like the, how the open AI LLM work without agent. So here basically I'm importing the open AI LLM from lane chain and providing the API key. This is required. And then I ask the same question, how many medals India won in Olympic 2024? So same answer. You can see here, OpenAI LLM also don't have the current information. They don't have the internet access. That's why they didn't answer this question. So here are the magic. You can see here, now I'm going to add the capability to our large language model, like the OpenAI model go to the live internet and then search for any information which is not available in their training data so let me first uh, import the tools so now i'm importing the initialize agent to initialize the agent and tool to initialize the our search engines so here basically we are initializing our search engine with the help of duck, duck go search run method and then we have the tool here you can see here tool and in the tool, we need to provide the name of the tools. And then we have the function. In the function, basically, we are we are basically calling our search and search search basic search variable basically have the duck duck to search engine. And then we have the description. So LLM basically use this uh, description to to find a best tool as per the action or as per the you know, task in hand. So here basically we are defining the tools and then we need to define the LLM. So here basically we are defining the LLM by using the open AI here. And then we need to define the agent, initialize agent. We are providing the list of tool from here to here. So you can see here, these are the tool list. These are the LLM and then the agent and agent type here. We are again using the zero show react description and verbose to to basically display or to print the code of our agent. Now we are running the agent. So you can see here, same question I'm asking to this agent. And now our agent is correctly answered answer this query. You can see here, this is the thought of the agent, like action is intermediate answer. This is basically the tool name, intermediate answering. And then the information find uh, related to the Paris Olympic. So you can see here. And finally, it basically providing us the accurate information. You can see here. So this way, basically, with the help of agent, we can uh, add the capability to our LLM to go to the search and then find the like the current up to date information. And this is the one of the example. Further, we can use the different tools as per our requirement. So let me show you in the next example. So in the next example, I'm going to use the Wikipedia to find the information from the Wikipedia and LLM math. LLM math specific for the mathematical calculation. So similar to previous step, first we need to define the LLM. Again, we are defining the LLM here. Then we are loading the tool and in the loading tool, we are loading these tools, Wikipedia and LLM map. And these tools already like the defined in the load tools function in Linchin. And then we are initializing the agent. And now I ask a complex query. You can see here, I have 500 rupees and I want to buy a toy price 355 rupees. Please let me know how much money I will have left after purchasing the toy. So you can see here, here basically uh, this 
this agent required to if capability to answer this question first one is the understanding reasoning and second things is the mathematical calculation as well so you can see here first this agent call the calculator and then perform the calculation you can see here and the answer is correct you can see here so this way we can uh, develop uh, agent based application so now i move to the another example of the agent and here basically i'm using the conversational uh, conversational react description type of agent and this agent basically this type of agent basically use if we need to store the historical information or the for example we are developing the chatbot in the chatbot we need to uh, store the historical chat information of our user so here basically we need to add a conversation memory in our agent so again we need to define all the things and one thing added here is the memory so we are importing the memory from the main chain you can see here and then we are defining the llm and then tool and then memory and in after that we are initializing the agent and you can see here uh, now our type of the agent is the conversational react description and we are providing the list of the tool llm and memory so these are the values of the these are the values of the all the parameters which we are providing now I'm going to run this agent. So now I'm going to ask uh, the questions to this conversational agent, like who is the prime minister of India and what is the his age. And you can see here, first our agent is going to the Wikipedia tools and find the information related to the prime minister of India, then finding the uh, information related to the current prime minister. Sirindar Modi and then find the information regarding his age you can see here and providing us the accurate answer so this way basically agent is working and as we are using the conversational agent so it basically retaining the information and retaining the historical information so now I ask a simple question please let me know his birthplace so here basically I did mention like I'm asking about which person so it basically retain the information from the previous query and it providing us the answer you like the narendra modi birthplace is uh, in gujarat and accurate information regarding the birthplace of our prime minister and further we have the another type of agents like the react to store if we have the requirement to search or to extract the information from the doc store or then we have the another type of agent is the self ask search so this is the implementation of the agents from the beginner point of view and i will provide this collab link in the description of the video you can find this all code in the description of the video as well and now i back to the my blog and here i'm going to showcase you the type of the agents in linchain so first one is the zero short react this we already cover in our examples like uh, zero short basically in the zero short we didn't require the historical chat information historical data this work on the single input type single input example so here zero short react means the reasoning and action so this we already cover in our implementation part and then we have the next uh, type of the agent is a conversational react action they in this uh, case we require the memory to store the conversational information to so that our agent can uh, use our react framework to utilize the conversational information from the historical data and this also we already covers here basically we are importing the uh, here basically we are adding the conversational buffer memory and then we are asking the questions and this basically answer based upon the historical data so these things we already cover in the previous section and then we have the another type of the agent is the react dog store and here basically our react framework interacts with the dog store if we have the requirement to find information from the react dog store then we can use this type of agent and this type of agent basically we need to initialize while initializing we need to provide the information of the agent type is react react dog store 
next type of uh, agent is the self ask with search and here basically we need to use the self uh, create self ask with search agent this uh, to create this kind of agent so this is the overall regarding the agents and further i will provide the link of this blog and also the code link in the description of the video you can find all the information related the code or content in the description of the video and further i will create more video related to the agents and in my next video i'm going to cover the custom uh, tools like how we can develop our custom tools as per our requirement for the agent application and also i'm going to create few video related to the deployment of large language model on the our local machines like the low configuration machines for example if we have the 16 gb ram machines or 8 gb ram machine how we can deploy the large language model here so thank you for watching this